Welcome back, everybody. Did you know that bolo ties are back in style? Oh, yeah, it's all true. And Orly is here showing us how we can make our own and keep up with the trend. I love this. I I'm also going to teach this dance. Awesome. I loved playing the game. It was so much fun. Marco! Paul, bolo. it's bolo, not Marco polo. Polo. Oh, I thought it was polo. No. I did oh. not follow that. Almost like that. that. Have you that? ever tried to swim with a bolo tie? It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> not easy. Before we get Sounds into like it, though, we are so happy to be giving away a brand new 2017 Ford Edge, valued at $31,500. Wow. So we are covering all the expenses, including taxes. To enter, it's simple 30-second video from you to us describing what love means to you. And we actually wow. have one of those videos right now from Nicole Giuliano from my neck of the woods, Alexandria, Virginia. Take a look. Hi, Hallmark. It's me, Nicole, and Lucia. I guess you could say love is walking one mile to pick up your husband's dry cleaning and then walking another mile home. Or you could say love is recording every single Hallmark movie premiere and watching Hallmark family every day. But really, the most important thing is loving God and loving people. Bye. Oh, fantastic. Oh, we got some really great viewers. Yeah. Quick, that's great. What's love mean to you and why? I think. Or what do you love? I, my kids. I mean, that that yeah. feeling. Yeah. We were just talking about Connor. Yeah. It's like just the, I have three boys, and they're like the greatest thing, and no one can frustrate me more or <laughs> make me right. or make me happier. Yeah. You know, like if I had three boys, I have two. I should have named them Mo, Larry, and Curly. If but I had known, known, you don't, yeah, you don't know. know that. No. Because if you name your daughter Curly, that's, that's weird. That's weird. A little right? weird. Yeah. All right. But you know what? If if there's a girl at home named Curly, we're okay with it. Yeah. yeah. All you have to do is go to our social media <laughs> pages safe. and use the hashtag HFCarGiveaway or email us at HFCarGiveaway at gmail.com. Our producers will be judging the videos to so make sure they're creative and they're fun and they're full of love. That's All right, right, back to the bolo at hand. Back to the, the bolo You ties. need to tell me that bolos are back in style. Debbie, I know you're really upset about I, this. <laughs> I came in today and she's like, she walked in, she's like, this can't be real. <laughs> I am telling you, bolo ties are back. They're really cool. And people are wearing them in the old way and the new way. We have a photo of one of our very stylish cameraman. There's Tyson. Oh, oh. Hi, Tyson. He's wearing it. He's a young, stylish dude. He's wearing well, it in the old school way, good. which is really fun. But here's how it's kind of being worn now, just as a necklace with an open shirt, really slouchy and cool. So it is totally back and it's really fun because a lot of people still have these lying around. All right, I could get behind that. Yeah. yeah. yeah All right. So you hate I'm onions sh and bolo ties. I don't know what Yeah, that's I do. I do. All right. Together, so especially. Judgy. I hate yeah. onion bolo ties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming up later in the show. So uh, what you need in order to make these is a leather rope of some sort. You can get something like this, which is about six millimeters, but I wouldn't go any bigger than that. You also, if you get something like this and it, it'll arrive, wound up like this and when you get it it's gonna stay in this form you really need to work it and bend it and try to get it to mm. lay nice and flat mm. because you want it to lay like this okay. you don't want it to be all jankity. jankity right so that's the first thing you need then you need a brooch of some sort any brooch is gonna work you just want to make sure that it's large enough that you can put this bolo slide which is the the real thing that brings this all together on the back without seeing it Okay, so we need a bolo slide, we need E6000 glue, and we need leather. Mm -hmm. And then these little guys, which are basically like little end caps that go on the end Inside. of your leather. And where do you get those end caps? Oh, you can get them at like Joann's or okay. anywhere. Or Bolo's so, or Us. Oh, yeah. Bolo's are Us. And you should know a thing about yeah, Bolo's or Us. Yeah. Tell, you know, okay, come my, clean. My great grandpa used to make bolo ties. He used to polish rocks and make homemade. I'm so excited. I'm going to bring them. I have a whole he bunch. He said he has a bunch. That's, it's that's time what made to bring him great. So he was kind of average. Yeah, yeah. but bolo then he ties. became the great grandpa. Took him right to he the was top. the bolo king of, of Boston. <laughs> yeah, they, that was. That was Everyone we knows him. about him. And he lived in Chicago, which was so <laughs> weird. It was so unfortunate. <laughs> so guys, you want to take the pin back off. You just take some pliers. It'll come right off. It's it's no big no big deal there. The next thing you're going to do is open these up. The, the one thing I would recommend is when you get your bolo slide, if it doesn't initially feel like it's going to fit, don't worry, because pliers are going to make it really easy to make it kind of work no matter what. Now, we'll just take this, see how it just kind of, actually, Look I'm going to go this way. It's going to go right through. And if it doesn't, I could just open it up a little bit more. 
So I'm gonna do this now and go this way, that way you guys can see it. Is this how your grandpa made them? It, yeah, I think so. I feel like so. he probably has the legit way of making them. Okay, so now we've got this. I'm gonna pop the end caps on. This is more for effect. The idea really about this is that it would prevent it from sliding through, but yeah. this is pretty stiff. It's not gonna slide through. That's really just more that it doesn't those? have it's a rise. You That's could, aesthetic. You could pop a little dip of glue right in the bottom and then yeah. push it in, but they're nice and they're pretty snug actually. Oh, they do? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're actually tight on yeah. there. You so you can, yeah. yeah, so they're they're pretty good, but you could <laughs> always, if the one that you put on you doesn't broke. feel sturdy enough, don't worry, just add a little glue. And now the next thing we're gonna do is put our glue, a nice hefty amount of E6000. Mm. But you absolutely need the bolo clip though, right? Yes, the okay. bolo yeah. slide is that's the only thing that's gonna make this thing function as an actual bolo tie. Otherwise, yeah. it's just gonna be a brooch with leather attached to it. Okay. And when you do it at home, guys, I would actually recommend gluing your um, bolo slide to your brooch first. I just wanted you to see how the whole thing functions, so I slipped this through. But yeah. what I would do first is create the actual structure, like here, let me just show you mine. So you can create the actual piece. I'm just gonna take it off. And see, what I did is I glued this piece to this piece first, and it was like one separate sure. unit. Then I slid my leather through, and then I added these end caps on. Got but it. I just wanted you to kind of get the effect from, really from start cute. to finish. So you can do that first. Give it some good time to dry before you put it through. That's it. So, so how much would this cost? About 10 bucks.